Hey everybody, welcome back, Nostal Gamer still. Obviously, not gonna be someone else. Sorry I said that, that was rubbish. Let's start again. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, if you watched the last episode, you know that we were just trying to get through the, uh, the dungeon to get the Pendant of Wisdom. And yeah, so I was trying to figure out what to do in terms of how to get to the next floor. And I thought, oh, I bet I've got to light up those things with the lamp but turns out there's a big giant button right here under a pot um so you got a stand on it um no because that button revealed the chest so in summation i'm an idiot um, got that wrong. Okay, um, so we're just gonna explore that, I guess, because I totally thought that was it. I didn't want to. I didn't want to step on it and like continue the store, the game without, without kind of checking it with you, but and playing it with you guys. I don't want to like do too much on my own. But wow, I really should have. So that's fun. So um. Yeah, we're just gonna explore, I, I, I guess. Okay, I'm really... Where on earth is everything gonna be then? Basement floor. Or... Is it gonna be something like really stupid where I can totally just get up from... Because there's a there's a thing like that there, but nothing else. So, uh, is it going to be something like, actually, I can get out from an outside room? So, if I go this way. Because I did that thing where I didn't go... I didn't go... Um, I went outside, I got the heart container, but I didn't go the other way. Because I thought, oh, what else could there possibly be? But turns out it could have been, like, loads of... No! Oh, my goodness. Well, that was um, embarrassing. Oh, have I got to do it again? I've got to do it again. I keep saying it. Right, I got to do it again. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, make the wish. Yep, that's great. That's great. Yep. Da -da 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 -da. Can't move. Have to have this cool sequence happen, obviously. Okay. Ah, yeah. Just saw. I don't know if you guys saw on the top of the screen. But um, there was a little path clearly where I was before when I went out this side and got the heart container. There was a um, there were some of those rocks in the overworld, and obviously I just got the power glove, so I knew it had something to do with that, but I just couldn't figure it out. So, oh, had I just explored that little bit more, I would have got the little ah, that's what that's for. But I didn't, so that's on me, everybody. I think, um, as much as I didn't actually get to do it and have that moment, that is what I love about Zelda games. They they want you to explore, find stuff, and then go, oh, I can't go through that. And then later you get a chest that's like, the power glove. And you're like, aha, that's how. So what do I just, oh, nice. I'm a big strong boy now. Oh yeah, that was the other door. Okay, so this is the, pro the actual floor. Okay. We're in business, people. Now, have I got to, like, push one of these without dying? Something like that. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Easy. Okay. Got that. Ah, the killing tiles. Let's just get the key and get out of here. I forgot in this game has the, the killer tiles. The, they try and... Um, Cut the ground and try and kill you. It's so good. Uh, this eye thing is so... I mean, I know it's meant to be annoying, but man, it is annoying. Yep. Okay, now I feel like we're getting somewhere. Yeah, there's not much left. Okay, we'll... We'll 
get this done. Maybe a bit of something else for the next episode. Oh, for goodness sake. That's on me, I'm just not observing. Oh my gosh, there's loads of them. Let's get out of here, get out of it. Oh, there's not a... Well, that's great. Do you reckon I've got a... I keep saying, do you reckon I've got to light these stupid lamps? And when, so far, it has not worked every time I've suggested it. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to do it flawlessly as well. Nope. Okay. It's going to be way... Yep, it's gonna, It's actually way more simple than that. Why do I always have to overcomplicate it in my head? I'm like, yeah, it's this super secret thing. It's really not. Okay, well, that's obviously a boss. So, oh, killer tiles. There's got to be a key. And hopefully a heart. Nope, no heart. I just have to face them with the lives that I have. Um, let's get out the arrow or something. It, well, it won't be the arrow, surely, because the last guy was the arrow, and that would just... That would be unoriginal. Ah, oh, These guys need arrows, though, don't they? Yeah. Full of magic. Oh, maybe I can, like, ice rod him or something. Okay. There's obviously meant to be further. Okay, this... This has to be the lamp thing. I'm sorry, there's just no other way. Please be the lamp. Okay. I just felt like... I keep saying it's the lamp thing, and if this isn't the lamp thing, everyone's just gonna think, oh, he always just thinks it's the lamp thing, and there's no evidence to support that. But at least you can see I'm obviously not crazy. I keep going to the map instead of the menu. So I think we've got... we're pretty full of magic. Who are we fighting? Oh, that guy. Do we just, like, go for it? Oh. Do you know what we don't do? We don't get attacked constantly. Okay, this isn't working out. Arrow, not the best move. Okay, can't get him like that. It's really hard perspective, because he's, like, in the air. There. Oh, come on. So when they do that busty thing, I've got to... Oh my gosh, there's loads of them. Or is it just one dude? Oh my gosh, they're so fast, they're so fast. How are you doing this? It's weird, because they're, in theory, based on the shadow and stuff, flying in the air. But, and I'm going to die. I'm going to die. In theory, they're, like, flying in the air, but... But then I can hit them on ground level, and yep, I keep missing these stupid, stupid ground thingies. Oh. Okay, so definitely not the arrow. The arrow takes too long. Oh, should we use the ice rod? I bet it's the ice rod. I bet it's the ice rod. Oh, I've got to do all this again. Huh. Oh no, it is this way. Yeah, nice try. Yep, got it. At least this bit's short. Attacking tiles... Maybe not. Oh no, there were, but maybe because I didn't lift the pots or whatever. It was fine. Up here... Nope. Just get these guys. Don't get hit by the laser boy. Okie dokie. Okay, we're on track. Don't touch the lamps. The lamps are evil. They deceive you. They just want to trick you. There is no such thing as special lamp. Okay. There were no hearts here last time, so I'm not going to bother looking again. Oh, yeah, and I've got an arrow. This guy. Oh, I'm already on arrows. That's fine. So I think we're going to try the ice rod, considering I got it just before this. But then because uh, I can get either one, that was the thing. So it might not be related to that. But whatever, there's no point in not trying it. That is what I like as well. Zelda's so n not linear, so you can get the red pendant, you can get the, the wisdom pendant or whatever it's called first. Oh yeah, here we go. 
No, but I've still got to hit the head. It's not super easy, and wow, it is draining my magic. Oh, that did all the damage, though. Damn. Okay, yep, this was the right call. Now I've just got to sword this one. Brilliant. Love this game. Love this game. That was just so... I should have just used my brain a little bit more and I would have figured that out all on my own. But no, I didn't want to figure it out all on my own, apparently. But yeah, so I wonder what the other one... like. So you had to get the courage one first, didn't you, to like prove your strength or whatever. But I wonder how how it goes if you do the red one. I always do the same thing. I always go for the blue one every single time. And then do the red one. Because in my head it just seems like it's harder or something. But man, it's just... I'm not laying a lot of hits on this guy, I must say. I don't want to use all my bombs though, because it will end up in a pickle like last time where in the overworld there's all this bomb stuff. At least I know where I'm going next time though to get more bombs, he says. But probably we'll forget. Yeah. Oh, for goodness sake. Should have been more cautious with my magic usage. Now I would have got them. I'm getting better. But yeah, I just wonder... Okay, here we go. Got him. And another heart. Pendant of Wisdom. Here we go. The music's a bit long. You won the Pendant of... Ah! Oh. Everyone's been probably saying this to me in the comments or something, haven't they? That's actually the Pendant of Power. I'm sorry, but hasn't... Blue always been wisdom. Can someone back me up on this? Blue's wisdom, red is power, green is courage. I'm pretty sure that's always been the way it's been. Apparently not. Your goal, it's finding three, is in sight. Go for the last one. Well, that's just... That was just embarrassing. Been going on about getting the pendant of wisdom this whole time. And everyone probably thinks I'm an idiot. So, there's, there's that. Got that going for me. Um, cool. Anyway, what was I saying about walking into the cactus? Great. So we're going to go get the Pendant of Wisdom now, because I now know that that's the Pendant of Wisdom. But yeah, I like that it's so non-linear. Like, I could go get the Pendant... I'm just going to do them by colours now, because I'm totally confused. But I could go get the red Pendant first, if I wanted to, in the game. Or the blue one. I feel like the blue one seems like the logical one to get first. But... I don't know. Um, yeah, get it to heal me. I feel like the blue one's the logical next one to get, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's easier to get the red one. But, I, but that's what I love. It's, it's up to you as the player. You can go get whichever one you want. If you want to make it hard for yourself, do it. Like... That's what I like about Zelda as a game. Right, so... Is there anything to do with this guy? I feel like now I've got this uh, power glove. I need to, like, use it way more. Okay, I obviously can't lift that one because that's just... I can't have you lifting all the rocks. I've got to make it hard somehow. you gotta, you got to earn it. Oh. I'm guessing this is going to be the best way to... Nope. And I obviously can't lift the giant rocks either, so that's fun too. Oh, what's this? Can I... No, can't do that. Oh, okay. Again, switching out the magic thing, because that's going to use all my magic. Oh, come on now. Okay. So where are we kind of heading on a more zoomed-in view? Yeah, so go go past the castle, basically. And past NG's house, which is me. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. And NG, it sounds like I'm... I've never called it myself an abbreviation when I've played this game, so calling myself NG is a bit weird. But, you know. Oh, I got a bomb. Sweet. But... 
Let's get out of the way of all these people before they kill me. Just kind of, again, running to the scene of the crime. Oh yeah, I know you're on the lookout for me, but here I am. I'm just, I'm just passing though, don't mind me. I'm surprised they don't, like, come after you or something. Right, so I guess it's that bit there. Now I'll figure out what to do from there. We'll just keep going. Just keep going. They've spotted me. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep. Oh, they've spotted me. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Don't tackle him because he's annoying. Right, what does this sign say? Can I read the sign from that? Nope. Okay, I can pick up the sign though. That's that's great. <laughs> I don't- I don't need to read signs. I'm fine. I know where I'm going. There's the- what does it say? The house of lumberjacks A. Bumpkin and B. Bumpkin. That's... Nothing here for me, I don't think. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's great. That's great. Um, I think I saw a cave back there though. Maybe that will get me to where I need to go. This seems like a fairy ro Oh, it's one of those. Again, I like it. The, you, it, it teases you with it. It's like, oh, there's something there, but I'm not gonna tell you how to get it. You have to figure that one out yourself. Yo, NG, a mysterious fog has recently fallen over the forest. We have to be careful. That's great. Thanks for that. Maybe it's nothing, but this tree feels kind of strange as we cut it. I have a feeling... I'm guessing that will come into play later or something. Oh, is there a door? I've totally just gone right past the entrance into the cave. It's too busy talking to whatever they... What were they called? Bumpkin. A bumpkin, B bumpkin. Uh, and I can't go that way because... That's, the, that's stupid. So how, so how do I get up all the way up there? Am I missing something? It feels like I need to be on this over here, but I can't, unless I'm... And these guys are really in the way. I want to read this sign. Oh. Oh yeah. Danger. Do not enter Death Mountain without the King's permission. So, do I have to go back to the King? I don't... I can't get the King's position permission. I'll talk to Sahasra or Sasawa. See what he's got to say on this whole thing. Oh, that was interesting. I think we'll go to the the sanctuary or sanctuary, as we all lovingly call it. See if they've got anything to say. If you defeat the wizard, soldiers might regain their sanity. Go seek the pendants. Yeah, but I need the king's permission or something. You should follow the marks the elder made for you on the map to explore. If you don't know what to do next, you can also visit a fortune teller. Oh, are you serious? I've got to go to that stupid fortune teller to tell me how to get into Death Mountain. So tell me, like, do I need the king? I feel like. How am I possibly going to get the king's permission? I can't even get into the sanctuary at this point. Let's read this one. I love reading signs. This way to Kakarika Village. Okay, let's go to the freaking village and see what I can do. This is the fortune teller, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's chat to him. Tell your fortune. That's great. Wave your hands around. Abakazabra Abakazam, you will find a mushroom lover at the magic shop. Now I will take 15. I'll find a mushroom lover at the magic shop. The magic shop? What does that even mean? This is just great, you know? Oh yeah, I forgot I'm wanted for murder or... Oh, I didn't do anything, I just kidnapped Zelda. Oh, it's you, NG. What could I do for the Elder? No one's seen him again collecting victims. What? Master Sword? Well, I don't remember exactly. Oh, cool. He's just telling me the exact same thing all over again, dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Yes, I totally understand. Anyway, look for... Yep, that's great. That's great. No help to me whatsoever. So, I'm trying to think what, what I need to do. I'm sure I'm just being stupid and I can just really easily get into the cave or whatever. Uh, let me have a look. I don't need to get... I can't get the Master Sword, I don't think yet, can I? I need to do the pendants. Unless there's something up by the Lumberjacks. There's no obvious other way into the... into the uh, Mount Doom. It's gotta be there. It's gotta be something like that, surely. Okay. Let's just keep going. We're just gonna go back where we came from. Oh! They're all onto me. You can't see me. Okay. Let's head up this way. Oh, maybe there's like a wall or something I can bomb. Man, I really don't know. There's something like only the king. I can only go with the king's permission, but. I think that's just like a threat of like, oh, it's super dangerous, rather than it's... Oh. No. I think it's just more like a, trying to make me scared and be like, it's super dangerous, don't do it. Now I want to know is, how do I get... Because I went in here and there was a little ledge, wasn't there, over here. So maybe... <sighs> but then the only thing over there is a bunch of... A bunch of woods. So maybe I've got to go into the woods? It's the only thing I haven't done. It'd be worth trying it. Uh, I made a big mistake. It seems okay. Oh golly. That's not the Master Sword. Ah. Here's the one. For 100 rupees, I'll let you open one chest. That's too many rupees. Let's do it. As we know, I'm so good with this. Oh, I got 300. Okay, totally worth it. I'm just going to call it there. You know, quit while you're ahead kind of deal. Not worth continually going on and on. Yep. I think, I think I'm making myself more and more lost if I do this. I shouldn't really be going into the woods yet, should I? Hey kid, this is a secret hideout for a gang of thieves. Don't enter without permission. By the way, I heard that one of your ex-members is staying at the entrance to the desert. Well, that's, again, useless. Entrance to the desert. Oh, is that that guy that doesn't say anything? So, have I got to go back and talk to him? I'm not doing that right now. I'm trying to get... I'm trying to make use of this. I think I'm just... I'm going further. <laughs> yeah. Not accomplishing what I want to accomplish by doing this. This is ridiculous. Nope. I feel like these are all like... I bet if I pull out a fake master sword, it like kills me or something. For God's sake. Right, let's just get out of here then because I'm clearly going the wrong way. So, I don't know. What am I meant to do? Am I doing something wrong? It's not that cave. Oh, this is annoying. Maybe there is something in here that I'm missing. Nope, it's just, it's just the room. I feel like this has been a total waste of time this episode, so, you know. Thank you for joining. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've really wasted everyone's time here. Everyone, that'll be what everyone tells me anyway. Oh. Am I, oh, I'm missing something. This is just ridiculous. 
This is so stupid. Right, well then, in that case, I think it's going to be best that I cut the episode short and figure out what the heck I'm doing because I could keep going, but I'm just wasting everyone's time, I think, and I don't want to... I don't want to be just wandering around aimlessly. I want this to kind of be quick and enjoyable to watch. So I'm going to end it there. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, sorry that not a lot happened. Oh, well, we, we got the pendant of uh, power or whatever, didn't we, today? So thanks for watching. We'll we'll pick this up next next time, and hopefully I'll know what I'm doing at that point, and hopefully I won't have done anything stupid. And I'm sure I've missed something and just totally messed it up. But yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to watch the next episode and find out will he ever find the obvious way into the cave that everyone knows about? Well, you have to stay tuned. So see you then.